thought for the day, brothers and sisters, today I was reading in the book of Habakkuk, minor prophet in the Old Testament, chapter 2, where in verse 4 we read that the just shall live by faith. That is a phrase that's repeated three times in the New Testament in Romans chapter 1, verse 17, Galatians chapter 3, verse 11, <clears throat> and Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. And whenever something is repeated in the Bible, there's importance to what's being said. When we look at the word faith, faith in the Hebrew, with the, which the Old Testament was written in, has to do with loyalty. Being loyal to the one that we say we have faith in. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 6 says, Many people will say that you're your friends. They say they are your friends. But who can find someone that is reliable? Being reliable, being loyal to someone, having faith in someone, is more than just lip service. In Matthew chapter 26, verses 33 to 35, there's this conversation going on between Jesus and the apostle Peter. Jesus is saying that he's going to have to die for our sins. And Peter's like, I will never deny you. I will never leave you. Even though you have to so, suffer so much, I will always stay by your side. Well, a few verses later, we find out that Peter is denying that he knew Jesus three times. See, saying you believe in someone being, it has to do with being loyal to that person, not just with your lips, but by your actions. Having faith in God means that we are loyal to him with our lives, how we live our lives. It is not enough just to say that you believe in God. James chapter 2, verse 19 tells us that the devil believes in God and shudders. And in Mark chapter 1, there's the story of Jesus going into Capernaum, into a synagogue, and he starts to teach. And in verse 24, there's an evil man there with an evil spirit. And that evil spirit within that man cries out, Most Holy One of God, what will you have to do with us? You see, this evil spirit knew who Jesus was. And interestingly enough, this man was in the synagogue. Oftentimes, a lot of people that go to church are not truly faithful to God. Our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, said, Not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will I acknowledge, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. My friends today, too, also let us remember, and I say this for myself, being loyal to those around us, I think of the marriage vows. I got married nearly 27 years ago and faithfully, well, by God's faithfulness and by his grace, me and my wife are still married. I have never physically cheated on my wife, but Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 28, that if you look at a woman lustfully, you've committed adultery with that person in your heart. Job, in Job 31, verse 1, he said he made a covenant with his eyes not to look at someone, lust, a, a, you know, a young girl lustfully. As I'm getting older, I'm thankful to God, and he gets all the glory. I don't struggle with that as much as I did, like, when I was younger. I remember when I first got married, and if I saw a pretty girl, even in the company of my wife, I would look at her. And you see, that's not being loyal. That's not being faithful. And he, in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 22 to 33, Jesus gave, uh, the Apostle Paul gave the illustration of a marriage uh, institution, the marriage between a man and a woman. And in verse 32, Paul said this is also speaking about the mystical union between Christ and the church. Just as we are married to Christ and we are to be faithful and loyal to him, we should be faithful and loyal in all our relationships here on earth, in the marriage, when we go to work. We should do our job as unto the Lord, faithful to our employers, not trying to steal time and not trying to cut corners. Listen, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect either when I go to work. But in my heart of hearts, I try to say as Colossians chapter three, verses 23 says, 22 to 24 in that context, whatever we do, we do it as unto the Lord. My friends, when people look at us, do they see us as being faithful and loyal, first and foremost to God? Not just with lip service, but by our actions. A tree is definitely known by its fruits. 
I remember years ago when I was in a church, this old time deacon said something I still remember today. A tree is known by its fruits and not by its suits. In other words, it's not the outward appearance that God is interested in. First Samuel chapter 16, verse seven, the scriptures tell us that man looks at the outward appearance, how elegant a person dresses, how elegant they, they speak, how, how charismatic they are, how handsome, their personality, the persona they, 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 take, they show off themselves to be. But God looks at the heart. May God see in our hearts a loyal heart, a faithful heart to him. As we learned in the scriptures today, the just shall live by faith. And that faith must show itself to be loyal to the Lord Jesus Christ. We all act like the Apostle Peter at times. We say, Lord, Lord, we'll do this. And we do the other. But I am thankful to God for this scripture verse in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. That even when I am faithless, God remains faithful. But my friends, let us try to strive to be reliable, loyal people in our relationships on this earth. And especially in our relationship with Christ. I hope today's devotional video will help you all. If you see this devotional video on YouTube, you can subscribe to my YouTube page as God leads you. There's a subscribe button on the bottom. I have a little bit more freedom on this YouTube page as getting the word out. Um, God has opened the door. I'm thankful to God on Twitter now. And uh, it's growing and I'm thankful to the Lord for that. And then to all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ on Facebook, thank you for your loyalty. You're, you're, those that are reliable in this ministry, together we co-labor in Christ, sharing the word out together to this world. Social media is such a blessing. The devil is busy using it. We too need to be, be, be busy getting out the word. And I hope some scripture verses today that was said will remind us that yes, the just shall live by faith, but that faith is not just with lips, lip service, but by our actions, as we know, a tree, is known by its fruits. Take care this day, my brothers and sisters. God bless you all. Stay loyal to Christ. He is worthy and he deserves all the honor and praise.